Well, thanks for the opportunity to share. I'm privileged to be part of an international youth-focused movement uh, referred to as Youth for Christ. Um, youth for Christ is the largest youth-focused NGO in the world, and uh, we've been operating in Canada for over 75 years in 30 different chapters across the country. I'm the executive director of one of those chapters known as Youth Unlimited in Highlands. We are passionate about uh, sharing the love of Christ uh, with the kids that we serve. Um, our mission is to see every young person achieve their full life potential. And as followers of Christ, we know the only way that's possible is by introducing them to Christ. Uh, so we work in uh, 10 different communities across the region, from uh, Guelph on the west to uh, Huntsville on the east. So I answered God's call to uh, engage in youth-focused ministry by joining Youth Unlimited Toronto in January of uh, 2013. And in November of 2019, I moved to my current role with Youth Unlimited in Highlands. And it seemed like I'd just started to get my bearings uh, when COVID hit in March. And then of course, uh, everything changed. Um, but you know, through that time, we've seen um, what I refer to as God's fingerprints all over the place. Okay, so can I share a really cool God story with you? Um, this one is uh, amazing. Uh, it's, it's one of many, um, but I think it's particularly poignant. It shows God's faithfulness. So um, as I mentioned, we operate in uh, 10 different communities across the region that, that Highland serves. Well, in one particular community, the, um, the, the drop-in um, was, was virtually vacant before COVID hit. Uh, youth weren't coming, uh, we weren't able to connect with them. It just, it, it just wasn't working anymore. And uh, the rent was killing us. That was all before COVID hit. Then when COVID hit and there was absolutely no chance of, of youth coming out, um, and having to rethink what we were doing, um, we made the difficult decision to let go of that facility. So we went to our landlord, who interestingly enough was the church next door and said, hey, uh, the rent is killing us um, and we don't have any youth, so uh, we need to get out of our lease. And uh, they graciously let us out of our lease. And then they blew us away. And <clears throat> forgive me, because I'm gonna get emotional because that's what I do. But they blew us away with this offer. They said, well, hey, why not use our building for free? It's like, wait, what? For free? Uh, where do I sign? <laughs> and so literally we said, yes, we made the transition into their building. And what I didn't tell you at the outset is that the high school in that community is just across the street. Um, and so when high school went back in session in September, the youth literally flooded into our new facility in that church. And so I, sh I shake my head and go, only God. And it brings to mind the, um, that old saying, uh, let go and let God. We had to let go of this, this building before God could do what he wanted to do. So praise God. One of the things that I am, uh, am confident of is that as we keep our eyes peeled for where God is, He'll, he'll uh, bring us along. At the outset of COVID, a, um, a well-known leader in the church said this, while crises may bring challenges, they also bring opportunities. So since COVID hit, um, our posture has been to always look for those opportunities, what I refer to as God's fingerprints, and we've seen them. And so um, where to from here is just to kind of continue to watch for God's movement um, and to trust Him to, uh, to lead us through. I want to read um, from Isaiah. Uh, chapter 26, verse 7, he says this, uh, But for those who are righteous, the way is not steep or rough. You, God, do what is right. You smooth out the path ahead for us. And I think that's what he's done. He's been smoothing the path ahead for us, even in the midst of the crises. And we're going to continue to trust him. I want to thank Springvale as a congregation and, and the many individuals who support Youth for Christ and my ministry in particular. 
Thank you for your financial support. Thank you so much for your prayers uh, and your many words of encouragement. Um, it's, uh, it's quite a ride. Uh, God bless you and thank you again.